Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here and I'm on the FTOG.net server playing Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. And I'm here in the nether to show off something real quick for the other guys on the server. Just as a little uh, public service announcement, uh, the nether hub is way over there and uh, Thor made this fantastic little uh, bright railway to get me uh, to here fast and there's an AFK uh, blaze spawner over there, a manual blaze spawner over here, this is the wither spawner, I'll just be nice and close my doors, and we set up the gold farm over here and I decided to make it kind of stand out a little bit, but also because it required flight uh, nah, let's elevator up Oop, two, three, and we're up and so, yeah, you can come up here and, and do what you need. Uh, that's upgraded now to a compacting drawer. So you can get, uh, yep, there's already two blocks of gold in there. Uh, stop picking up stuff. I don't want it. Go away. Go away now. And uh, I'm still grabbing it. Uh, but, yeah, come here, AFK, get all the gold you need. My guesstimation, it's about 10 plus blocks of gold per hour, you AFK here. Uh, avoid AFK and way up there because there's a good chance you may die if you're right up at the top, but you know, block yourself off with dirt or something and you're good to go. Yay! That way. Oh, yep, I, sh I should uh, mention this. I completely forgot it last time. This chest appeared here next to the uh, villagers. And in it, there's a thanks for the shears. It's a block of steel. Uh, thank you very much, Toddy. I, I, I know it was Toddy who did it because I saw his video where he was using the shears. Uh, you just forgot to put your name on there so I could really know. Uh, anyway, yeah, feel free. Um, I get the shears. That's not a problem. So uh, happy, happy to uh, let you have those. And I'll uh, put this away. And in other news, here at the hardware store, yay, NZ Hook, uh, I went ahead and stuck in here a pulverizer and a redstone furnace, and those are all nicely charged. And so, yeah, if we want, uh, say I want some sand. Actually, this gravel or sand? I'm trying to remember which it's going to make. Oh, sand! Yay, give me sand! I want sand. Now I have sand! Woohoo! Anyway, this is, these are machines that are free and available for people to use, which is mighty nice. And I figured, yeah, let's get those going. All right, that's been a little disjointed so far, but uh, I do have two other things to, to do real quick. Uh, this over here, uh, yep, I got my 300th uh, subscriber, Patrick Erickson. Uh, did that today. Yay, Patrick! So uh, I figured I'd plop that there, and let's go over here, zip, and drop down, one more. And in the comments I was reading today, uh, Frau Lysifer, I, I, I'm guessing, she said that you can bone wheel these guys. And I went, okay, let's try that. And yes, they do bone meal up, which is really cool. And I got several of these that have, have grown up, which is mighty nice. And I just went, yay! So thank you very much for uh, letting me know about that. And uh, we'll get going with there. And other thing, um, yeah, sadly, zip up here real quick, sadly something happened with Farmer Frank here the other day. I was working with him, trading a whole bunch of stuff, came up here and said, all right, let me get some shears, and he got a new trade. Fish, cooked fish to unlock him. I had done like 60 trades with him and he was just fine with shears and now he's fish. So I need to make fish which I could just manually do it which I don't want to do it. So instead I decided, let's see go. Oh, I made a whole bunch of uh, more of these HV capacitors, but no, what I want is a fisher. Yeah, go with the fisher from Mine Factory Reloaded. I tried the fish trap and that's real cheap to do, but you need the bait, and I don't have any of these, so I said, forget it, I'm gonna go with the fisher. Fish. Err. Uh, this one. Iron gears, got the iron gears buckets, machine frame can do that, that's cheap, that's good. Plastic sheets. Compressed sawdust. 
Okay, well that just takes regular sawdust. That's not a problem. I've got this little beastie over here. In fact, let me uh, pull these out so that I can continue making more sawdust. And let's see what else do I need. Oh yeah, so rocket fuel. Well, that's kind of cool and all that Ender I.O., but how do I make rocket fuel? Okay, I need a vat with some gunpowder and some redstone and hooch, and that will, with some RF, convert into rocket fuel. Okay. Well, I need to make hooch. Well, that's again in a vat with seeds and wheat and stuff like that. And sugar plus water will make hooch. So I need two of these vats. Vat. Back to, I'll make it easier. The vat <laughs> is how it goes. Uh, yeah, that's what I need. Electrical steel, furnaces. That's pretty easy. Okay, we've made a bunch of these for the cores of the, the sag mill and for the alloy smelter. And I just stole uh, some cauldrons from other places uh, in villages. that they No villagers were there. I asked. Nobody said anything, so I took them. And so I, I got two here. One, two. <laughs> Let's go ahead and drop them up here. I'm thinking to put you right there and you right there. I'm hoping that I can configure the side so this will be in, oh yes, and that will be out, yep, cool, so that you can see it's already sucking up the water, so no need for pipes, which is very nice, and then this bad boy, I'm going to configure him so this side is in, and that side is going to be out, and I will get another one of these tanks, and that should get me hooch. No, this will make hooch, this will make the rocket fuel, which will allow me to get the stuff to make the fisherman, or fisher, whatever. The fisher thingy that I need. Alrighty, alrighty, ready. I need to go get some materials to run through this, and uh, more water. I feel like a moonshiner, because my vats are making me hooch. So this is uh, kicking in, it's sucking in the water very nicely, making the... That's making the hooch, and then this one over here is taking the hooch and doing it and turning it into rocket fuel. And what's happening to all the excess? Okay, here comes this. There's the hooch. But what's happening to the... Oh, it's getting stored in here because there's up to eight buckets worth. Ah, okay. I was wondering, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, over here, just got my machine frame done. So let's come back to this. That goes there. I need hooch. No, rocket fuel. Give me the rocket fuel. Rocket fuel comes over here where I've got my raw plastic and my compressed sawdust. That will give me two of these. And I was thinking it was giving me one. Well, okay, give me. Oh, and got my bucket back. Oh, good, 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 good. Because, you know, buckets. And there is my fisher. Well, while I've got the bucket here, give me some more. Rocket fuel, let's go ahead and make another batch of this. And Yeah, I, I may make a, a bunch of those while I'm here. Okay, so I've got a fissure. I need some place to hold it, so give me some of those. And iron chest, gold zip. So now I've got a gold chest to store stuff. But I need some power way off in yon distance and I made me a tier 2 solar panel, the hardened so, break thank you and let's go ahead and move it over into some water and over here is where I had set up the, the fissure from before the fish trap and then I realized, oh I need actual bait. Well, that doesn't work so well. So if I recall right, the fish trap goes on top of the water, actually. That we will put on top of that, and then the power we're going to stick right there, and then I'll just give me this back. Thank you. I believe it's doing a little idle. It's getting some work there and now it's actually doing stuff. It's not going to be the fastest of all things because of the amount of, of energy per tick that this thing produces. I think it's eight RF per tick. So it's not a huge amount, but you know, that, that's okay. And everything should spit up into here when it's done. So that's going to slowly climb its way up. So that's going to take a while. 
But that should give me fish plus other random stuff, and it can just sit there and run. And that's that's what I really like, is it just runs. Alrighty, so that should give me the fish I need for him. Not hold a weapon while I punch him. Why did you switch from shears? Mutter, 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 mutter. Uh, power. I need more power over here because I'm doing more and so more power is a good thing. Uh, had the capacitor bank on to the side, but I'm going to put three capacitor banks at the top uh, feeding up because they will they feed faster. And then this will be the bottleneck. And then I'm going to have three rows of these capacitors that will go up. So I'll have a, a good amount of storage here. And I just have the one culinary generator. That's all I've got. And I've got a little uh, up and down here so I can come and go and uh, get to my power room and that is where my water wheel is going to be so I think that is the next thing to do is the water wheel and I'm not sure what all I'm actually going to do down here other than put the power in it doesn't need to be all that pretty eh, I don't know about this just trying some random lengths like this is not quite finished eh, doesn't move move or groove me all right, so water wheel. Let's see what the trip is for that water wheel. Water wheel segment. Uh, I need those. How is this used? Oh, okay, I need eight of these plus a shaft. Oh, a block, and that will extrude that out. Okay, that's that's very doable. But I need eight of these, and I'm going to make three water wheels because they will stack up to that much. And then there's something that they connect to, and I'm drawing a blank off the top of my head. So I need to make eight times three, 24 of those and three of those guys. Alrighty, alrighty. I would like to know who was it that didn't tell me I had misconfigured my second vat? I think it was you. Yeah, you. Uh, because it wasn't outputting correctly. I put the tank right next to it. It wasn't working. And so I had to use the liquid, uh, the, the transfer node uh, liquid mode to pull that out into the tank. And then I was watching my video say, okay, what did I get done? And I realized it had been set to blue, which was pull instead of orange, which was push. And that's why the tank back there is happy and working just fine. So, you know, and it looks better having it like that instead of pushing way over to the set. Anyway, uh, water wheels. I got these done. That was pretty fast. So there's three of these. Oh, fish. While I've been monkeying around and doing stuff and chatting with people, uh, my fisher ha has gone ahead and caught a bunch of fish. And that means I can come over to here, my redstone furnace, where I put an augment for food. This increases the food output. Less energy used, and it actually doubles my food. So if we toss that in there, I get two cooked fish for every one I toss in. And it's pretty fast, which I'm all for. Will you give me fish? No, you're an octopus. You won't be. Give me fish. You won't give me fish either. I don't want you. So, but uh, this way I can go ahead and get my fish that I need really fast. Oh, you won't give me that? Fine. I'm going to keep you because I want an ocelot. Give me a kitty. So, uh, this is how I'm going to get the fish that I can trade to the villager to unlock him to make him happy. Because getting, you know, emeralds in bulk is mighty nice. Let's go ahead and take that. Why am I getting that now? I already cooked some. I already cooked some and tossed them over here. And I was going to show these off, but I don't need to anymore because, you know, I've already done it. Let's go ahead and save those, save those, and save those. Don't care. Uh, so, water wheel. Let's go down. And it was going to be over here, but I moved it up here. Now let's go into hover mode. Uh, it's going to go right through here, and... Ah, Alright, who didn't tell me that I hadn't actually grabbed my water wheel? I want one, two, three. Thank you. Alright, back this way. Back in hover mode. And I have... Way over there, 
That should be the block. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? I can't reach it. Fine. Can I reach you now? Yes. One, two, three. All right. And this is going to connect. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to punch through. And I was thinking, I, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to punch through here because this needs to hook up to the kinetic dynamo. Well, let me go up here and take a look. This needs to, yeah, the kinetic dynamo. Pretty simple uh, steel, an, uh, an MV capacitor. I've been making HVs. And this electrum wire coil, which was kind of uh, fun. A bunch of electrum in there. So, hey, gimme. And back down. And this boy is going to go right there. And let's go ahead and attach that. And I'm not entirely sh sure. Oh yeah, that's the, that thing. I'm not entirely sure where that's going to go to. I need something sticking out for the nonce. I'm going to have it stick out to here. And then I was thinking, let's make a little uh, room that I'm gonna put this HV right there and it's got an in here so I can go from you to you and from you to you which will feed into the stack and then I'm gonna have uh, side pieces in there so that it's three stacks going up but that's that's later that should do everything I need uh, let's jump out there real quick and see how it looks up and how does the water wheel look? That's ah, not bad. Let's get rid of this block because we don't need him anymore. And jump over to here. All right, so this is where the water wheel is going to be, and it's just the passive you know, energy generation, which is fine. When I'm really kicking off a huge amount of work, then the culinary bad boy is going to have to kick in. But in the meantime, this is going to work. I need to frame this so the water doesn't spill all over because that would be ugly. And set it up just right with the, the water flow going around the top and down and back under and then a little bit over to the side to get it spinning as fast as possible so we're generating all the, the power that we can. So we've got to figure out what to do there. Am I all the way up against the wall? Yes, I am. Okay, so I don't need anything there. Can I see anything through? Yes, I can. Have mode. Um, and, you know, not sure I can really do anything about that. Uh, maybe one of those blocks that has a hole in it. Oh, well. I, I may not care, but... Uh, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do there. And it is done! There is my water wheel grinding away in all its glory. And I decided to go with the treated planks to kind of match the, the water wheel color and the light gray colored cobblestone for the border because that's, you know, the, the around the, the iron bars is that uh, light gray. So just kind of mixing it up there. And there's something funky about the layout here. Let me flip around and... Whoop. I've got lots of water blocks here, there and there and there and there and there and there, for a very good reason. Oh yeah, and uh, Thor gave me the blue slime dirt back there, so. Uh, but uh, there's a, a real good reason why those are all there. Let me switch to an image and give you an idea as to why. This image is something that Torgal sent around to the, the people here on the ftog.net server the testing he did on a creative world to see what would give the most oomph out of this water wheel. And every place where there's an arrow, that is a source block that is 
in that block and pushing in the direction you can see the arrow going, that gives the most maximum speed on the, the water wheel and gives you the most energy. So that's why he sent this around, said this is the best with his testing, and that's why I set up mine in the same way. So it is producing some power for me, which is mighty nice. Let's head back in and see what's left. Zip, down we go. Uh, yeah, I, I've got my three capacitor banks up here and three columns of the HV capacitors down below. And they are all feeding up. And so if we zip down here, yep, that's eight capacitors in a row with a ninth one down there at the, the, the bottom. And this is on the other side of the water wheel where the dynamic uh, capacitor is. And we were testing to see whether or not it had to be on top. No, the, the connector actually can be on the side. And then I stuck this HV capacitor there and it's charging up just fine. And so much, much smoother. And I, I should tidy up this a little bit, but uh, yeah, it actually is working great. All the energy coming in from the water wheel goes to this one, which goes to the center, which the center splits out to the sides as well as going up. And let's see, how far up are we charged? Um, yeah, see, it's charging up. This is the third capacitor rank down, and it's kind of charging. That one's all the way charged. Center one is... Eh, it's pumping all of its stuff over to here to charge up and we haven't done anything on these sides. So it is charging its way up, which is very nice. And then this culinary generator, it can go ahead and it pumps straight into this middle one, which pumps to the side. So between the two, I've got a, a, a good amount of energy going in there. And I'm not too concerned right now with the speed. Uh, I, am, I am using this to, to fill this up fast, but as this runs 24 seven, it will trickle charge this up and, and it's going to do grand. Uh, I will just go ahead and throw occasional food items as I pick them up and, and throw them into there. Because my main idea is, yeah, having a huge amount of power that I can generate on demand is nice, but just having a huge number of, of RF available whenever, because of my huge storage here, I think is a better deal. Eh, that's me. Uh, I let's see. We've got three of those. So that's 15 million, and each one of these is four. And there's t three of those times eight plus a ninth one at the bottom, a tenth one. Uh, do the math. Carry the one. Subtract three. I have no idea, but I'll I'll do the math and throw it up right here on the screen. Look, that's how much. Okay, now I gotta go do the math. Anyway, <laughs> it's all there. Uh, yeah, and it's working great. Got the hooch, got the power, more power. That's what we got there. Oh yeah, lots of power. This has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG.net server, playing Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode, Expert Power, Expert Mode. Thanks for watching. Bye.